Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today's video is a cook and decorate with me. Every year we have done something special for Aria for Valentine's Day. It's been our thing since she was born. So since we're all home today, I figured it was a perfect time to make her lunch and set up a cute little table with balloons and stuff. I even went out and got her balloons. And I'm gonna make her Hello Fresh burgers. Thank you so much to Hello Fresh for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Hello Fresh is, it is a meal kit delivery service that sends you everything you need to make really delicious meals at home. You can pick anywhere from three to four recipes a week for two to four people, and everything comes in a nice box that can be recycled. It's covered in insulation so that all of your food comes at the right temperature. Meat, poultry, and fish is separate from everything else, and everything is the exact measurement. So if you're not a good cook, you're fine, trust me. So if you are interested in trying HelloFresh, please click the link in my description and use my code JMDIY80 and you get $80 off of your first month. We absolutely love the service. If you haven't seen my other HelloFresh videos, Aria always puts on her little apron and pretends to cook. We love it and it definitely gives us something to do as a family. So I can't wait to show you what we put together today and how we decorated and I really hope that you enjoy this video. And let's go ahead and get started. So this is my recipe card and this is what's going to tell you every step and everything that it brings. First step is to bring your oven to 450 degrees and let it preheat while you work on your veggies. Now I'm just going to wash all of my veggies, make sure that they're nice and clean, and then we're going to get to chopping and mincing and all of that fun stuff. Here you're going to see my amazing knife skills, and I say that sarcastically. I'm just going to go ahead and slice up my onion, and then reserve a bit just to dice it up to make two tablespoons. You can keep all your veggies on one cutting board, but I decided to put them all in an individual bowl because I tend to be really clumsy, so I end up putting veggies that don't belong in certain things just because they're next to each other. So here I am dicing my two tablespoons of onions and putting it in its own little bowl. But like I said, to avoid dishes, you don't have to do this. I just prefer to do it this way. So now I'm gonna zest my lime and then it calls to quarter it, but I did end up cutting it into eight pieces instead. On the recipe card, it says to grate your garlic, but to be honest with you, I am terrified of the grater. So I decided to just mince it up because my little fingers and the thought of the grater are just terrifying. So once I had enough garlic, I went ahead and put it in my bowl. They did say that they sent more garlic than you needed, and they definitely did. Now the last step is to cut up my potatoes into like steak fries, and this is what we're going to put in the oven. So I'm going to transfer it into a baking sheet, and I'm going to be really generous with olive oil. I'm also going to add paprika to this, which they sent, and some salt. You get to control how much salt you add to this, so it's all what you like. Now I'm going to place this in the oven for 20 minutes, and while that works, I'm going to work on my caramelized onions. I'm going to go ahead and over medium heat, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of butter, and then I'm going to add my onions in. So these are just the onions that are cut into strips with a quarter tablespoon of sugar and some salt, and I'm just going to wait until they get tender, and once they are nice and tender, I'm going to add some sriracha. The little packet of sriracha that they sent was the perfect amount for these onions, even though I didn't cut up the entire onion. And then I gave it a little squeeze of lime juice, which is what it says on the recipe card, and removed it from the heat. I tried one of these onions and it is really good. So now I'm going to work on my burgers and I'm going to take the ground pork that they sent. They did send two packages since I ordered for four people and I'm going to dump it into my bowl. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and season it. So I'm going to add the onions, garlic, the rest of my paprika, a half a tablespoon of sugar, salt to taste, and I'm going to mix it up. And I tried to mix it up with gloves on and it didn't work. So I used my hands and then shaped them into burger patties. This is supposed to make four burgers and I didn't take into account that pork burgers don't shrink as much as beef ones. So I could have easily made five burgers from this. So now it's time to cook and over medium heat i'm going to go ahead and do a large drizzle of olive oil and i actually ended up using two pans because i don't have a very very large pan and i placed my burgers in now it says to cook for seven minutes on one side and then turn them over put the cheese on and cook for four minutes and that was the perfect time i did go a little bit over on time but it was still really good so now I'm going to add my cheese, and of course this was sent by HelloFresh, this is Gouda. I put it on there for four more minutes, and I'm going to work on my sauce, which is the lime zest. A little bit of lime juice. The package of mayonnaise that they sent. The sour cream. A little bit of the garlic pepper and salt and then I'm gonna mix it up and this is what's gonna go on my burger buns so now that my four minutes have passed I'm gonna go ahead and remove my burgers and put them on a clean tray and I'm gonna go ahead and toast my buns just for a little bit Now it's time to assemble and I wish you guys could smell this because it smells so good. So it says to add the sauce to the bottom bun, add your burger, add your onions, and then you are done. So I went ahead and took the fries out of the oven because it's been 20 minutes and this is what it all looks like. Now it's time to get ready to eat. We don't have a very big living room so we don't have a dining room table. We always just use the foldable kind that we keep in the garage. I took a pink tablecloth and put it over my table. I thought this was going to be dark enough to show through my sequence one but it definitely was not but it's totally okay. So now we're just setting up to make everything look really pretty and this is teamwork right here. For the centerpiece I added the little crate that I made last week and I removed the flowers and added some of these hearts instead to make everything look a little bit more playful. Then I added these little cupcake holders, I couldn't find the matching set. These two wreaths I used for placeholders and I added my plates on top. I think this looks so cute already and now it's time to plate up my food. I only made two plates here because I thought Alex wasn't going to eat since he's on this extreme diet. In the end, he was the first one to start eating, so I eventually did put a third plate out. I finally told Alex to bring the balloons from upstairs that we had been hiding from Aria, and she was so excited. I totally made a mistake by putting out the cupcakes because she wanted nothing to do with anything else, but we definitely loved the food. It was so good. She eventually did have it for dinner, but it took us hiding the cupcakes. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with us. And don't forget to click the link in my description if you want to try HelloFresh and use my code JMDIY80 for $80 off your first month. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a happy Valentine's and I'll see you on the next one.